Hello, welcome to a video on your year-end process with ProLedger Online. Now, when it comes to the end of the year and start of a new one, there are several options that you have with ProLedger Online, and we're going to review them here. The first option is, well, you know, when you go into the next year, you could just continue making entries. You know, there's no limitation uh, in terms of uh, the year so you can just scroll through and, and start with the next year and make your entry and carry on so that that could work quite well but there might be situations where you might find it also good to create a brand new file for each and every year and so what's the difference and what should you do we're going to talk about that briefly here now usually um you know, uh, from year to year, there might be changes that you've made possibly, for example, let's say you've changed some of your items in the chart of accounts, you've added a few more categories or, re or you've been using a category that no longer applies. And so, you know, for that reason, it might be good just to create a brand new bookkeeping file uh, for the next year. So it cleans up your chart of accounts. So. That could be one reason. And also same applies to pre-written descriptions and that sort of thing. So anyway, there could, could be uh, useful to keep things nice and tidy to have a new bookkeeping file for each and every year. And, and then you keep things nicely separated. But for some people, you know, if there are very few changes and you want to continue just moving from year to year, you can do that. Just make sure then that you're creating a filter to keep you in the current year that you're here, you're working in. So for example, you know, right now it's 2022. So, you know, let's say it's 2023. You want to set your filter for January 1st, 2023, let's say to December 31st, 2023. And then you can just leave that filter on all the time while you're making entries. So you're not having to scroll through last year and the year before when you're making entries. And the same applies to reports. Then you're only going to see the current year report if, you know, it might just make things easier. And you can just leave that filter there if you like. So, or like I said, the other way is the program has a really handy feature that you could create a copy and start again. So for example, this file name is called test file. I'm just going to make a copy and start a new file for next year. And you'll see how easy this works. And what you're going to notice is when we make a copy that all the, uh, all the setup stuff is going to come with us. So all the account names that you've set up here, all the classes, everything that's set up in the setup area will copy over into the new file. So you do not have to recreate it. And same with the, um, you know, same with things like importing you know when you import records you can create auto edit scripts and i just have two here in this sample file and that also pops over into the copy file so you don't have to recreate all of this either it, you'll just basically end up with a blank sheet for the next year but with all the setup stuff intact and then you can make adjustments before you start your year and that sort of thing and here let me show you how that works so you go to your file area and this file that we're on now is called test file. And to the far right, you can see there's an area you can delete the file. You can mark it as a favorite or edit the name of the file. But we're just going to choose this option called copy. And uh, let's just go ahead and do that. And it's, you know, we're just going to leave it with the default name or we can call it copy test file, whatever you want to call it. And let's say it's for 2023. And then we go ahead and create this new file. So here we go, let's take a look now. So when we go to the import area, you're gonna to go to the auto editor, see the scripts are there. And when you go to the setup areas, you know, everything copied over, including your pre-written descriptions. And now you can simply start brand new, you can remove the filter, and you can simply use this file for your upcoming year. And if you ever want to go back to the previous file and look at it, you can go back to it here and open it anytime you want, you know. So, so you end up with um, multiple files, but it's nice and clean and you can switch from one file to the other if you like. So anyway, I hope that you found that video helpful. Thanks for tuning in.